Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm again on the Weigold farm in Heidelberg in Germany. If you remember the farm that grows huckleberries in greenhouses and in pots. However, despite being in Heidelberg and growing even the huckleberries in greenhouses and in pots, here they are trying a kiwi berry plantation outside without any protection. Well, the species is Actinidia arguta, one of the main species of kiwi berries that are being grown internationally. And yeah, this little plantation has been around for three years. But if you look around, yeah, the fruit are really small and green and not easy to see. But here and there, you can see a few. And a few is the operative word. I talked with the farmer, with the wife, and she said, yeah, they are not happy with the performance of the kiwi berries here. And I asked why. She said basically two problems. The late frosts destroy the flowers, so they actually had to, uh, to sprinkle this plantation in May because we had a couple frosts in May and the, uh, the kiwi berries, they flower very late, so they had to sprinkle the flowers to save them from the late frost. And another big problem is the wind. Look at those little fruit here. See all those, all this corky surface? Well, customers really don't like that type of skin. They like nice green, tender skin like this here. But it seems that the wind here is so strong that it basically bruises the tender skin of the kiwi berries, which is another problem. So yeah, um, here in the Hanschusheimer Feld in Heidelberg, we have a lot of really small farms and so you will not find the, um, the fruit and veg from those farms in big uh, supermarket chains, not even in Heidelberg. Basically people either sell the stuff themselves here. You can see behind the sunflowers there is a little shed. That's the berry hut of the Weigold farm where they sell their berries. People also sell stuff directly to restaurants or to little local shops or directly to deliver to people in their homes. But yeah, because of that and because of our warm climate here, just growing the traditional normal stuff is often not enough. So people experiment a lot like with blueberries in pots or with kiwi berry plantations. And as I said, they are not really happy with their performance. They hope that when the vines grow older, and have a lot more foliage, they will block the wind more effectively when you have a couple rows of vines with a lot of foliage that can act as a type of wind breaker. Maybe they will even uh, protect, well, okay, I, I guess in spring when the late frosts are troubling the plants, the leaves will not be very much developed, but maybe even there will even be some protection against the late frosts. And so, yeah, they, as I said, they are not happy with the performance of this plantation. They, they, they told me this um, mm, absolutely clearly, but they really hope that when the vines grow older, branches with fruit like this will be more or less the norm. Well, except for the corky skin of the kiwis. Look, if every branch looked like this, I think they would be quite happy with the amount of fruit and if they can they can successfully prevent the late frost damage and if the the ample foliage of the older vines stops the wind enough so that it doesn't bruise the young fruit so much maybe maybe kiwi berries will get established as a yeah, kind of normal berry crop in those parts of Germany. So folks, this was the Weigolf Kiwi Berry Plantation in Heidelberg, Germany. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful city of Heidelberg. 
and don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.